Okay, so boys, now we're going to move on to the next part, which is learning about the trig ratios. The word is trigonometric, but we always call them trig for short, the trig ratios. Okay, so we've got a right angle triangle here. I've marked an angle theta, and for that angle theta, I've marked its opposite side, which I'm now just going to call O. It's hypotenuse, opposite the right angle, and remember the blank side we haven't marked yet must be the adjacent side, which I'm calling A. So the trig ratios are called sine, cosine, and tangent. They are ratios, or sometimes ratios can be written as fractions, and that's how we're going to be writing them. Okay, the abbreviations for sine, cosine, and tangent are just the first three letters of each of the words, so we call them sine, cos, and tan. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. That's the ratio or the fraction. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta is opposite over adjacent. You need to know those three ratios off by heart. You've really got to know them well, and we're going to be using them a lot. So, a way of remembering it. You can learn this rhyme. It's called a mnemonic when you're learning a rhyme or something to help you remember something. So the rhyme is, some old hags can't always hide their old age. So if we look at the first letter of each of these words in the rhyme, S-O-H is sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. The next three, can't always hide. C-A-H, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Their old age, T-O-A, tan is opposite over adjacent. So you can learn the rhyme, or some of the boys like to just learn Sokotoa, as long as you know how to spell it. The first three are grouped together, the next three group together, and the last three group together. So this is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. So now we're just going to practice using these and getting really good at it. Okay, so this first example, it says for each marked angle. Now our marked angle here is the angle theta that I've given you. Find the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios. Okay, so when we look at this one for theta, the first thing you should do is get your red pen and start labelling the sides. Our hypotenuse is that one because it's opposite the right angle. Our opposite side is opposite the angle I give you. We're going to write an O for opposite. And the one that's left must be the adjacent side. So now we're going to fill these in. We're going to be finding the sine, the cosine and the tangent of theta. So we write it like this. Sine theta equals O over H. Now. We go down to here, sine theta equals O over H, it's 55 over 73. Cos theta equals A over H. We've already marked them, so cos theta is going to be A over H, 48 over 73. And tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So tan theta equals O over A, 55 over 48. Okay, looking at the next triangle. Now, we're finding the marked angle, sine, cos, and tan of the marked angle. So we're finding sine alpha, cos alpha, and tan alpha. So sine, remember, is O over H, which means, if we have a look at our diagram, that's your hypotenuse, H, opposite your right angle. From your marked angle, so opposite that, that's O, and the one missing is A. So sine alpha is O over H, N over K. Cos alpha is A over H, M over K. And tan alpha is opposite over adjacent, N over M. All right, looking at the next triangle. So that's the information they've given you. And you've got to be careful with this because they're jumping around from one angle to another. So we can't mark it all on to start with here. I might mark some things on and then rub them out for what we're doing. 
Okay, so first one is we're finding cos x. Now cos is a over h. Um, and when we're doing a over h for x, be careful. So this is your hypotenuse, that's not going to change for anything. But if we have a look at angle x, the opposite side would be that one, and this would be the adjacent side. Now they want a over h, so it's going to be 4 over 5, that's your answer. Now the next one is looking at angle y. So these two things are going to change. Now I'm going to get rid of these now, and we're looking at angle y. Remember the hypotenuse is always going to be opposite the right angle, that won't change. But if we're looking at angle y, our opposite side will be that one, and this will be our adjacent. So, tan of angle y is O over A, 4 over 3. Alright, next one, we're looking at sine x, so we're back to angle x. So we'll just get rid of these. Alright, we're back to angle x, this time we're back to this being the opposite side and this being the adjacent. So let's have a look. We're doing sine x, so it's opposite of our hypotenuse. So it'll be 3 over 5. Now we're back to angle y again. So we move back to where we were with angle y. Remember this is the opposite side now. That must be the adjacent. So sine y, opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. Okay, the next triangle. Now they want you to complete these things over here. I've already filled them in, but I might just get rid of them. So you can see how we do this. Okay. All right, so we're looking at the triangle here, and they've told you that sine of something is ij over hj. So ij is this side here, and hj is this side here. Now, that has to be opposite over hypotenuse for this to work. Okay, so ij is going to be our opposite side, and hj is going to be our hypotenuse. So which angle has that as the opposite side? It's this one. So that would be alpha that goes in there. Now looking at the next one, we've got cos, and we know that cos is A over H. So let's look at that one. I'll get rid of this. Alright, so we've got HI. We want that to be the adjacent side. And we want HJ to be our hypotenuse. Now, which angle has that as the adjacent side? Well, it's going to have to be alpha. Okay, because it's that side is opposite at the beta. So it's not that one, we need it to be adjacent, so it's going to be alpha again. Okay, we've got that out. Start again. Alright, we're looking at tan this time. Now tan is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side has to be IH. And the adjacent side has to be IJ. So which angle has that as the opposite side? It's this one, angle beta. Okay, so we're going to be coming back in the next video and um, just doing a few more examples on this work.